So well, what we're trying to achieve is really to remove the immune system. So in the immune system, the multiple sclerosis disease actually resides. And in contrast to other treatments, such as standard disease-modifying drugs, uh, which uh, suppress the immune system, we're, we're doing something completely different. So the HSCT is more akin to a surgical procedure in that regard. So the MIST trial started about 10 years ago, and it's the, uh, a randomized controlled trial of HSCT versus uh, FDA-approved treatment. It's the first randomized controlled trial for HSCT, really, and uh, it's a great pleasure that we uh, now can present our data. And uh, uh, the study was positive, so uh, in the primary endpoint uh, of uh, disease progression was a huge difference between the two arms. So uh, we have confirmed earlier data from the open-label trials that HSCT is superior in preventing disability. Uh, what's perhaps more surprising is that uh, pa patients did not only deteriorate less but actually improved. So in most MS trials patients are constantly deteriorating but in this case uh, patients actually improved which is kind of unique. So uh, risks should not be uh, negated. Uh, they are mainly infections. So during the transplant, uh, you have a, a higher infection risk than otherwise. Um, you can get serious infections if you're unlucky. This is not something that's really dramatically different from other MS treatments too, because all act on the immune system. So uh, every potent MS drug today has a serious risk of adverse events in the form of infections. Another uh, adverse event is the occurrence of secondary autoimmunity, which is peculiar to some of the uh, disease-modifying drugs and HS HSCT uh, today. So we think that patients should be treated early before uh, development of irreversible disability. And this uh, typically means that we aim for uh, patients that haven't had the disease more than five years and, and preferably a little bit younger. That also makes this procedure a lot safer. So the MIST study started about 10 years ago and at that time many of the more efficacious drugs were not available on the market so we didn't uh, compare against those. So that's an important thing that needs to be done. We need to compare HSCT against more effect, uh, effective drugs and uh, this will be done in, in several different trials. One of them is the RAM-MS trial which we are doing together with co colleagues in Norway, Denmark and the Netherlands. Uh, another thing that is not known today is uh, the long-term consequences of this treatment. Are the risks in the long term? Can you develop, for example, secondary malignancies? Can you develop secondary autoimmunity, as uh, I would mentioned earlier? And to which extent does this happen?